Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Throwing to start here is Tua. And his first look is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about it out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now is second and ten. Here's Tua. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Tua sets up to pass it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They have more guys there than they could block. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And it appears they'll go for it here on fourth down. A big call on the game's opening drive. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. Now this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, 37 yards. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? 
One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Eagles offense staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. They'll set up a throw. That's caught at the one. And he will get in to make it 8-0. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held him, they might go for it again. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow from the 48-yard line. Here's second and nine. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard after the 21. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. One quarter down, 8 nothing. the score. With the score, Eagles 8, Dolphins nothing. Second and nine now from the 21. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 56 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal right, right, point right, of their right. attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. 
They'll run right here with Swift. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and ten. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Hurt sets up to throw it. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now a third and six. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 45-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. 8-0 our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. Back to the running game with Swift. There he goes, left side. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, what a first half he's had running the football. Another terrific run there, and this one finds the end zone. Well, we know he's a guy who's capable of coming up with big plays in the running game, and his offensive line knows it as well. That keeps them motivated, looking for those extra blocks to give him room to run downfield. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. Dolphins nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Throwing on second and long. Tua. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Hassan Reddick. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. To a hit, and the ball is out. It is and he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an eagle touchdown. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. Yeah. 
Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Eagles 22, Dolphins nothing. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is going to be a safety. Mm. Right now, they're just trying to get to halftime because they need a break. This game, it's been a shellacking in every way, and they just got driven backwards for a safety. Jake Bailey set to kick off. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Oh, my goodness. Now that is going to be out of bounds on the free kick, and yeah, that's a big mistake. 73, 73. Hey, 73, 73. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. The Eagles going to take... Can I talk my... Come on! Come on.